one, it's Ashley. I've been actually feeling really good lately. I'm really looking forward to the last week, but I'm also not looking forward to it ending. In the first two weeks, I've lost seven pounds. Not a big deal, it's all about health. It's day 14, which means the last day of the second phase, which also means my very last detox um, powder that I have to take. And a lot of people have been complaining about this. Hey, it's horrible, they can't handle it, it sucks, and you have to take it three times a day with your other supplements right 30 minutes before each meal. So um, you just you know take the packet, pour it in, up in like eight to 12 ounces of water, I have a little bit more, it's fine, um, and then stir it up and drink it. And to me, it just tastes like a bunch of breadcrumbs and water, so no big deal. Um, so I'll talk about a little bit about the detox. It's not, for everyday use, it's not completely necessary. It, it's a gentle colon cleanse. It helps you eliminate a little bit easier. Honestly, I haven't been eliminating much differently than normal. There's no big bowel movements, no nothing. No, I, If anything, I think I'm like pooping less. But maybe it'll happen next week. Maybe it'll kick in next week um, for the final seven days. But so this is my last detox powder. Um, until, until if I ever decide to do this again. Mistakes I've made. Let's talk about a couple mistakes I've made so far that I've noticed and I will know for the next time around. No chewing gum. Chewing gum is bad. Coffee, bad. All that stuff, bad. Get it out. Um, snacks are optional, so, and it's only between lunch and dinner, and that's it. You're only supposed to have it between lunch and dinner. One thing you're always supposed to do is wait 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes after you take your supplements to eat. So you need to wait 30 minutes, no longer than an hour. Another thing is not reading ahead what you're gonna have for dinner or for lunch, because if you don't read ahead, sometimes you don't realize that you have to marinate the tempeh for an hour before you eat it and you want breakfast because you're hungry, so you have to have oatmeal instead. So always read ahead in the food guide. You're not supposed to use lotion, Lotions have perfumes and fragrances. You shouldn't be using perfumes. You shouldn't be using fragrances or anything like that. Um, one thing I'm doing that I know is wrong and that they say, no, 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 is working out. And you all know that. So I am working out. I am keeping it as light as possible, though, as light as I can go. And I'm actually, I'm working out probably a third as much as I'm used to. One thing also is stressing out, especially the stress with my... Um, my car getting crashed, stress with money and remodeling the basement, stress with just like everyday life stuff. And it should be just kind of mellow. I should be calm and just be like, yeah, cool, whatever, go with the flow. But it's been stressful, so I think this next week will really be a, a nice break for me. Um, things I've noticed that I eat a lot slower. My back used to ache. It's quit aching um, the last few days. It used to ache a little bit the lower back because I was um, not getting enough food I think but now when I sit at work I sit on a yoga ball um, I can actually sit up and I'm I'm fine I'm feeling fine I sleep better it's actually I've been sleeping really well throughout this whole thing am I hungry ever no because I drink my water I drink my my detox and I have to drink this and then plus some more water to really flush things out and wait 30 minutes to eat so the water is so filling when in doubt drink water probably hit you up tomorrow tell you how that first day of week three goes, but this was my my recap of week two. Vegetables everywhere! <laughs>